want you to hear this. This is from his family. It's new tonight from, from Ismail Brinsley's family. Take a listen. I feel so bad for the family. And we give, you our, know, condolences, we give our condolences to the family. we're grieving and we're very sorry. This has nothing to do with police retaliation. This was a troubled, emotionally troubled kid. He needed help, he didn't get it. And if he got arrested this many times, that was a question, like why wouldn't why would they, they give him help, help him out like right. that? But they kept releasing him yeah. into the streets. So isn't that a problem that the justice system should be asking? Mm -hmm. Not us. Good question. That was his sister and his aunt, by the way, to our affiliate WCBS. Good question. Is it retaliation or is it, and, and is this a question that the justice system should be answering, Tom? Yeah, why is this guy out? Why was he out? I mean, he's a 28-year-old guy arrested 19 times. He's a, a career criminal. Clearly, he's got a, a few screws loose. Uh, I mean, anyone who's going to go and assassinate two police officers must have a, a is, doesn't have a full deck on them. So, and, you know, he, he's posting this on his Instagram account that he's going to come up and do this. That, along with the fact that, you know, when you have protesters running through the streets of the city chanting, you know, what do we want, dead cops, when do we want it now, all it takes is one guy with a screw loose with a weapon to do a lot of damage. So you think, you think the protesters, go ahead. I mean, look, that, those com when that happened at the protest, that was the low point of the protest, along with a copying attack. There yeah. were tens of thousands of people protesting peacefully. Um, and to say that somehow this is the protesters' fault, or to say it's de Blasio's fault or Obama's fault, this is a fault of our mental health system. This is a fault of access to guns. This is a fault of our criminal justice system. I mean, it doesn't take rocket science to figure out this guy was crazy. He I mean, shouldn't uh, have been uh, out there. Uh, this uh, is uh, not uh, an issue of protest. A big part of the problem is that we're using criminal justice as the mental health system. There are far more people uh, behind bars uh, who need mental health uh, than are in, in mental health institutions. We're, 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 we're giving them the wrong kind of treatment. You don't lock up somebody because they have mental health needs. You've got to treat them. In, in prison or not. So you're saying, it's, everyone is saying it's a problem of the mental health system. You're saying that in some ways, do you think that the circumstances that led up to this somehow motivated this man to shoot two police officers, Tom? Well, again, when you had, so we had the Staten Island verdict, uh, the grand jury verdict. You know, these protests started taking place. I don't have a problem with people protesting. Everyone has a right to protest. I have no problem with that. But when you have, in a city like New York, especially Manhattan, when you have thousands of people running through this, the city with no destination in sight, just, you know, rambling through the city uh, at will, it, it, it's for more reasons than one, it's a safety hazard. Someone's going to get hit by a wayward cab or potentially stop an, uh, an ambulance from getting to where they need to go for the guy having a heart attack in there when they're blo blocking the Brooklyn would, would Bridge. Would you blame the protesters for the shooting of his ex-girlfriend? What I'm blaming the, this, the, this whole scenario, I think, is a manif manifestation of the passiveness of the mayor of not, con of, of not coming out sooner and calling for calm and, and calling for people to rely on the facts and the evidence, which is what the grand jury saw in Staten Island, that, that they saw all these things that we didn't see. And they, they deemed that this officer should not, should not be indicted. Whether we agree with that or not is one thing, but that's what they deemed. Well, I mean, but you know, the, pro the problem is you can't tell people not to exercise their First Amendment right no, to not, protest not because it might set a crazy person off. That is, Julian, that's just not reasonable. That's not reality. No, but in the mind of someone like this, when you have, you know, again, protests that are, that are just able to run through the city aimlessly with no direction inside, where the police are even unable to, to, to police that event properly and safely. But the police did a good job policing the event. They, they, they you know, the NYPD does I, a fantastic I, we, we job. I've got, I've got to ask you this.